festival in Charleston starts this week. Here to tell us all about it, we have Mackenzie Spencer. Hey, Mackenzie, great to see you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so talk to us about festival. What are we going to see this year? Yeah, so festival kicks off this Friday and goes for 10 days. We go June 14th through the 23rd. It's actually our 20th year this year, so we're so excited to be bringing music, theater, art, dance, culinary, literary, all kinds of programming to the capital city. Yeah, you really do turn, I mean, it's your motto, you turn the city into a work of art. So now, when we want to come see some of these things, is there a certain place to start, or do we just go anywhere because we're going to see so much? So I almost think a festival is kind of a choose your own adventure book because everybody's going to have a different experience. Everybody can kind of customize the experience to what they like or what they may want to try. And so uh, festivalcharleston.com has, has everything on our website, including the full brochure schedule. And so people can go and check out all of the events and kind of pick and choose the ones that they'd like to do. Yeah, that really sounds like a good way to plan your mm -hmm. visit. So for those who have been to festival before, since you've been doing this, what, 20 years? I I mean, that's amazing. That uh, congrats. <laughs> what do you think it is that's kept you all going 20 years? What makes festival different from other community events? One of the things we hear most often is the diversity of our programming. We have all different types of programs for all ages. We have things for like the smallest children all the way through the older adults. Uh, and a lot of things you can do as a full family, uh, which people really appreciate and really like to enjoy during the summertime. Kind of as kids are starting to get out of school or getting a little restless, they want to be out and about doing things. And so we provide a lot of programming for them to be able to do that. Yeah, you certainly do. Is there something new this year you're really excited about? Yeah, one of the things that I personally am very excited about uh, is a program called Elevations, and it's Bob Thompson, who I think everyone around here knows and loves, is the pianist from Mountain Stage, part of the Mountain Stage band, but also is world-renowned on his own. He's actually putting together original compositions and working with a young poet uh, to do a uh, original poetry that's mm -hmm. all inspirational and all very uplifting and so I think that'll be a really fun night of jazz music and poetry kind of melding two different arts together. Yeah that sounds amazing. Now will there be a cost involved to attend anything at festival? So there are a few things that have very low cost tickets uh, but the majority of the programming at festival is free because one of the things that we are really cognizant of is that we want to be accessible and not only accessible as far as cost uh, whereas most most of the time, 70 to 75 percent of our yearly programming is totally free and open to the public, but also transportation-wise, a lot of the things are all over town, so that way things are walkable, things are on bus routes, to make sure that people really can access the arts. Oh, that is good. Now, everything you said starts Friday. How long is this going? So it goes for 10 days, 10 very, very full days of programming. Uh, so we go until June the 23rd. Okay. And remind everyone, if they want to plan their trip to festival and make several different visits there, where's a good place to see the schedules? Absolutely. Festivalcharleston.com. You'll have the full schedule. We have a calendar layout. Uh, for all the events, but we also have a PDF of our brochure, so you can go page by page and figure out everything that you want to do. That is wonderful. Mackenzie, any other reminders uh, that you want to make sure everyone knows anything about parking? Parking is readily accessible all over downtown Charleston. Uh, there's several parking garages, metered parking, um, but we don't really close down many streets. Uh, on June 22nd, 23rd, we'll have our large art fair that'll close down two blocks of Capitol Street, but the majority of the programming, roads are open, traffic is accessible, and so uh, we, we think that people will be able to get in and out really easily. Oh, that is great, and it, it's, it's fun to see. Uh, it just really does makes the whole city so much more colorful during this 10-day period of festival. Lots to do. Nobody has an excuse to be bored once festival <laughs> starts. So, Mackenzie, thanks so much for giving us a preview of what we will see and get to do this year during festival. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me.